bathroom oh you know I just trying to use the bathroom and I can't because there's an Oreo ball Shih Tzu adorable cute little puppy following me <coughs> Sally yeah cutie hey cutie hey boy yeah yo oh my god it's gonna be so different when there's a service dog in here too you gonna have a pack buddy well you can play with him, but unless you want to follow his lead, but he can't follow yours because you're a, you're a yappy You know, just one. logging in my bathroom. Favorite place to film. I love this color background. But hey guys, um, so today is officially day two with the hair. I mean, you know, day one was like yesterday. It was a half day, but like today is day one technically, officially, and I flap and love it. I mean, I think it's a little short because, like, it's like, woo, in the back, in the front, and then woo, in the back, no hair. But you know what I mean? I love it. Look, you can see. I love it. I love the pointy ears, like, right here. Like, she had a scissor, and then she, like, literally caught around my ear, and then around this ear. And my mom's like, oh, you should put your earrings back in. Maybe it'll make you more feminine, you know? And... I was like, nah, I want my nose pierced and I want a tattoo. That's what I want to do. Because what I want to get on my wrist is I have saved cards from when my grandmother was more lucid. And then I have cards from the last year when she's in a really bad dementia flare. Because um, last year for my birthday, she was actually in Glendale Nursing Home. And that was really hard. We took her a cupcake to sing happy birthday. Now, we normally do birthdays like pretty big. We usually have like a brunch at somebody's house, but we didn't do that this year because I was like, doesn't feel right like celebrating without her. And so I was like, I just don't really want to do anything. I just want to be with her because like, she's like, I don't mean to get emotional, but she's like the best present there is. And it was really hard not to have her like actually on there on my birthday. And so this year, you know, thank, thank you, Lord. She's with us. She's okay. She's as happy and healthy and safe and, you know, whatever as she can be. And so thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I know sometimes I say my faith is tested, but... You know, I know he's up there. I, I pray for her to get a cure, and I pray for her, whatever. But it, it's, realistically, it's not going to happen. And if I was being realistic, I would say we probably have another at least six months to a year with her. Um, my sister really, really would like her to come to the wedding. Um, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, right now, for the guest list... I have a CNA coming. Um, it's my old aide from high school who used to help me with transfers and toileting when I wasn't the best. Um, she's going to come and be my CNA for the day so my mom could just focus on my sister. And then my, my grandmother's um, CNA is also going to come. And what's cool about her is that her son works for Kesha. 
um, so she is the one who got me the signed CD she's been a family friend for years so I believe she is going to come to help my nani and um which is really nice i really like her she's really protective over my nani and she makes sure she's safe she gives her meds you know what i mean like she knows the whole day basically um she got her to try a snow cream root beer float and my nani had one sip of it and she said she was cold so uh our friend there had two um you know thingies so, um, that's gonna be fun. My grandma, my nani really, really knows that my sister's getting married. So much so that I FaceTimed her the other day and, um, which actually I think I'm, I want to get a reaction to her with my new hair because she's not gonna know who I am at all. Like, she knows my face, but like your hair is so much a part of you, she's not gonna know who I am at all. And that's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's fine. It's really fun. Um, you know, as you guys can see, when she tried the flaming hot Dorito chip, like we didn't do that on purpose. Like she was like, "Oh, I want one," and we we're like, "They're really spicy. They're really hot." She was like, "Eh, it's okay." And then she tried it, and she's like, Ugh. "You know, she's like rushing a little bit." But uh, she still has a wacky, crazy personality. Like we have dance parties. And, in the middle of her living room with she calls it her music box but it's um it's alexa the amazon show alexa and she loves it and that's one of the things that i want to do when she's no longer with us i would like to start like the the lorraine the, the i'm gonna name it the lorraine still sings llc like foundation 5013c whatever and I would like to bring like either little drums or little tambourines like when she was in the nursing home the treasure house nursing home also she had like a little maraca that they had in the room and then she could bring it to music therapy and there was a music teacher from Waterbury who would come in and who would um kind of you know, play like Elvis for them and play like the Andrew sisters. And I know all of these songs from the old people because, you know, I've been with her for months. I actually have a Spotify playlist that I hook up to the Alexa and I play with her um, sometimes. And um, I try to introduce her to new music, but then she's like, no, play my music. You know, she loves it. Like that is the only way we can get her to do her physical therapy workout, her occupational therapy workout. When the speech lady came, she was like, can you sing for me? Can you sing, you know? And everybody loves it. They love that she, you know, is connected to something. And so that brought her and still does bring her so much joy. So I think I would like to do that for her. I would like to create joy for other people because nursing homes could be so like you know because it's like some people are there to be rehabbed and go home some people are there you see for years and years and years uh you know some people die there i believe there was like two or three deaths deaths when she was there because just old people i don't know she was there for like two weeks so we don't really know I don't know, I'm just guessing now, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, and like, you know, nursing homes could be very, you know, there's a lot of uh, nurses and some of them aren't very nice and you know, so I would just want to go in and do something nice in her memory that she would most definitely approve of. And you know, it's very low cost because, you know, if, if you say it's for a foundation, you can get those instruments for free or whatever, or, you know, I can get them, I don't mind paying for them, and then just, you know, just need bus ticket money, that's it, you know, and, and I would go to, you know, even like hospitals for little kids and do like a song set there. I would sing, you know, I will sing, I will sing. You know, we do a lot of amazing grace, how sweet 
the sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that caused my heart to fear and grace and some I don't know the words you know da 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 the hour I first believed That song is actually very emotional for me because that was the song we played at my grandpa's funeral. Um, but yeah, so that's my plans and you know, I just, I want to like keep her memory and keep her amazing personality alive, you know? And I will do that. And don't you, you mess with the wrong with her freaking family because I will find a cure for you. In my 20, you know, 30 plus years still left on this earth. So here we are back in the bathroom again, but I promise you that I actually do things. And I got more steps on Fitbit. I'm up to like 1,027 now, which is good for me on a Sunday because I normally don't do anything. Um, but I wish I could have just filmed what happened but it happened so freaking quickly um but as you can tell by the title probably i haven't decided what i'm gonna name it yet but i'm gonna tell you um what happened so as you guys know i have the easy glider chair and i don't know exactly what model i have i know it's the deluxe model for like fatter people because i'm like fat but like whatever i'm like you know 100 100 and 63 pounds I think which is pretty big for me. I'm supposed to be around like 98 between 98 and 120 so I am like a fat elephant, but anyway, and my mom also got the one That is good for outside use and inside use because it is our hope that until we can go back to insurance and go through all the paperwork and appeals and whatever of getting a new chair because you can't here's the thing so if you're if you're new here and you're um you know you're looking into getting a custom wheelchair because this is going into my wheels of seat or wheel or four life on four wheels cp playlist so if you're looking to get a new chair know that insurance has a lot of fucking rules and you know my pain well he's not, well okay he's like half my psychiatrist half my psychiatrist because he does meds he does my psych meds he's half my pump guy um because he does my pump refills and medications of that sort because you want to make sure that the baclofen is at a therapeutic level but it's not too high or it's not too low actually i'm calling him Monday to get it increased and then I'm thinking about having to go on a bladder medication because the higher you make it from me 
because I'm because as you tell as you saw in my back of an experience story video which if you hadn't gone and watched that go look for it it's a thumbnail where I have oxygen tubes in my nose and I'm in the hospital um but that was an old picture it's from like two years ago um And actually, that inspired me to write a post. But anyway, so as you tell, I in that video, I use what's called um, functional tone, which means I use my spastic muscles, I use my tight muscles to um, move on a daily basis and to pick, like, be able to bend down and tie my shoe or be able to bend a little bit and pick up a pencil that I might have dropped. And I can't always do that because when my spasms and pain are flaring, I can't even, like, move. So that's one of the reasons why I want a service dog to, which I have to put this now in my service dog playlist because that's one of the tasks. But, um, I'm making a playlist so when I get a service dog and I'm going for a custom vest from River Dog Gear, I can just give her the playlist and be like, this, listen, this is where I started and this is where I'm at right now. Anyway, because she only gives to legitimate teams, but like if I'm an owner trained team, I don't know how to prove that I'm legit, whatever. Anyway, so um, like my friend Cassidy, she had it really easy because she, all she did was... Um, uh, have papers from the program saying that she went through the program and Kelly will have it that way too and so d does Lindsay and stuff but like I don't have it that way anyway but we'll figure it out um that's not for maybe a year or two down the line um because the vests are custom so I would hate to order a vest and then have uh the dog wash out or something um although if I get a pretty big vest and a pretty similar dog then maybe if i have a second third fourth prospect maybe it'll be fine but no we are going to pray that this first one succeeds because i will cry if i fuck up this dog and like make it wash out somehow i will literally like probably hurt myself hurt myself um anyway um so what i was even saying okay so <laughs> So I, I love the easy glider chair. My mom got the got the one that goes inside and outside because <clears throat> oh um oh right my doctor okay so my pain like my guy is like basic not my primary care because I don't go to him when I'm sick but basically other than my primary care he is the one that signs all my doctor's notes he has skipped me out of school for certain things he has on days that I've missed school, like even college, on days that I've missed school and exams and stuff, he um, would sign notes. And you, you may only think that's in pediatrics that they do that for like the school nurse, but no. If you like miss an exam, you need a doctor's note. So just go to your doctor or even like your primary care and say, hey, I was seen by blah, blah, blah specialist, but I forgot because of brain fog or whatever to you know, because I have brain fog too, um, you know, I forgot to get a note, can you just write me a note? And normally all your records are um, connected so they could see, hey, you were admitted from blah, blah, blah day to blah, blah, blah day, you know, like if I ever had a psychiatric admission, like they can see, hey, you were in, you, you know, you were in the BH unit for, you know, four days or three days or a day, and a, you know, whatever, and make up your exam. One time I had a friend who, his grandmother died, and this professor was so insensitive that he made her bring in the obituary and the death certificate from the freaking coroner, coroner, coroner office to, um, get the exam made up and I was like you're an asshole but that's also the second reason why I chose to um do online classes is I know that like we only have a limited amount of time with my grandmother left I mean probably realistically a year or two which hopefully god willing I will be graduated by then but if I'm not then you know, I don't have to answer to a professor as long as I get my work done by Sunday at midnight. They don't give a, they don't give a shit, you know? They don't care. So, that is it. And basically how it's going to go is 
you know um so insurance has a lot of rules and i just got it share like two years ago and normally they try to make you tough it out for a chair for seven years six or seven years but that is not happening with this one honey okay um so my doctor would have to write a letter and we'd have to go to an appeals process and blah 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 so my mom got this easy glider chair power chair um for the hopes that you know when i have my dog um yeah, my, you know, when we go to the rescue and get my dog, they could be like, oh, so this is the chair the dog's going to have to learn to heal, sit, come, stay, forward, backward, side, finish, you know, reverse, you know, rear end butt exercise, you know, all of that. And so it's good. We got the one that goes outside so I can take a potty and so I can train it on the fence and stuff. And, um, and so, yeah. And so, the one gripe I have about this chair is that it is so light that when you step to go foot on the, because you could fold it up and bring it with you, uh, which is unheard of for a power chair, because normally they're way too heavy, like 500 pounds. This one's like 85. When you take off the battery, it's like 74, I think. I don't know. Um, it would help if I had a wheelchair scale so I could weigh it. But anyway, we'll get there. Uh, I need to save $300 for I'm broke, okay? Between rent and dog expenses and phone bills, I'm broke. Um, anyways, so, so I don't know why I'm talking in an English accent or whatever that accent was. Anyway, so the reason why we got the outside one is because we need to go take the dog potty and whatever. And we wanted one that's more sturdy. Um, but this one's so light that it's foldable that when you go to step on it, I guess I'm like top heavy or something. Again, the fat elephant, you know, um, it like flips over, but I wish I could have just filmed what happened because it was freaking amazing. So I fall backwards in like slow motion. I hit my head. I have rug burn on this arm. You can see it's kind of red. And then I have a scrape on this arm you go oh, you can see it's also kind of red but Sully alerted to me that I was gonna have a panic attack because usually when you fall I have the fear that I can't get back up so my heart rate instantly goes up um I don't have my Fitbit on right now um but I have a monogram bracelet instead um because I was doing a jewelry post for a brand or for a girl that makes crafts um but yeah, but normally I can read my heart rate, but he alerted that my heart rate was high. Now, he is not trained in anything like that, and you really can't train alerts. It either happens or it doesn't, but he knew that something was wrong, so he came and he laid down and he put his head down, and we laid there for about five minutes until he let me get Sorry, back. guys. Change of video and, and change of scenery because... I am just here on my computer getting ready to watch One Tree Hill. No, no. Why does it keep bringing me back to the same freaking episode? Hold on. No, stop. This is already watched. I shall believe. Anyway. So, I got overheated and I was dying in the bathroom. So, wearing my Bubble Run t-shirt. Wait. Wait. Pause. Pause. No, no, no. Damn it. No. No. Back up. Back up. Pause. Anyway, sorry. Oh, jeez. So, <clears throat> I was getting overheated. So, what I was saying was, is that Sully alerted to a high heart rate slash and or panic attack, whatever you want to call it. And it was really nice. He was a good boy. Because I've had falls before where he's not really in tune to me. And he'll just, like, run over and sniff me and go back to playing with his toy or go back to romping with Maddie. What, you need to go potty? Hold on, he needs to go potty. I'll be back. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Back. Nope, back. Back, back. Back, back, back. Nope, nope, nope. Move it. Watch out.
You have had like no water. I've watched you. You don't need to go pee. Um, but yeah, so um, he alerted and we just sat there and snuggled for about two or three minutes. And then what's really cool is that my mom is at the casino with my cousins for their birthday. They just turned two one, so happy birthday, Nick and Sarah. Happy birthday, losers. <laughs> um, and so they are there, and she just texted me a picture of a dog, like, in a downstay, and she was like, do not pet. And I said, yes, Mom. I said, that's a downstay. And, yeah. So he just alerted, and that's really good because he's not trained for anything, and you can't really train a dog to alert. It's either they're in tune with you or they're not, and me and Sully have really, really bonded over the past couple of days, or past couple of months, you know? So yeah, it gives me hope for my new dog, too. Hey, everyone. So with that being said, I'm just going to end the video here because it's 1.18 in the afternoon. I just took my afternoon out of van, and I'm waiting for a takeout order. Um from my dad, because my mom's out somewhere today, so just me and my dad, and my dad does not cook, and neither do I, so we're just waiting for food, um, I'm getting a rice bowl, which is rice with chicken, and I think he's, no, no, that's not him, um, I'm getting a rice bowl, a chicken bowl, which is chicken with sauce and rice, so, yum, and, uh, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to end the video here because I'm just watching One Tree Hill, Peyton Sawyer. So. Ugh, just watching that. I have 18 minutes left on this episode, and then I'm going to watch a new one. Um, oh, God, I forgot how good this show was. But. Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. This is Emily Grace signing off. Thank you for joining my journey, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.